Today we are going to look at MIDI effects in Logic Pro. You can press S to solo track. This is the MIDI region that we're going to work with. Press U to turn on loop mode and P to open piano roll. Now we can see MIDI notes of this region. You can turn on collapse mode to hide unused notes from view. Next we are going to move to inspector by pressing I. To insert a MIDI effect, we will click on the MIDI effect slot. Here you can choose the note repeater from drop down menu. This plugin transforms incoming MIDI into repeated MIDI notes. You can think of it as a delay effect that can work with MIDI data. First we are going to turn on through mode to hear incoming MIDI notes. You can turn off through mode to send only the delayed notes to the output. Press delay button to synchronize plugin to the project tempo. You can use slider to set the delay time. To set number of delay repetitions, you need to change repeats value. For this project, we will set it at two. Now we should be able to hear the delay. We can transpose each delay by set amount. Velocity ramp knob can scale the velocity level of each delay repeat by the set amount. Now let's listen how this effect sounds in the track. As you can hear our effect is out of tune, because transposed notes are not in the same scale as the rest of the track. We can solve this problem with MIDI transposer that you can insert after note repeater in MIDI effect slot. Transposer can adjust incoming notes. You can click on the virtual keyboard to turn them on or off. Notes that are turned off are excluded from the scale. We can choose root note from root drop down menu. This project section is in G. We can control incoming MIDI notes by choosing scale from scale presets. This project is in major. Now all the repeated notes belong to the G major scale. Let's listen to the whole track. You can use this plugin with different instruments, including drums. Try to experiment with delay time and repeat numbers. <laughs> 